Okay, Brady Christensen has joined us. Questions for him? I will go with uh, Jay and Jake. Hey, Brady, hey, after that performance you guys, that whooping you put on Navy, a lot of people around the country kind of wondering how good this BYU team is. How would you compare it to the teams you've been on? I think this is the third or fourth team you've been on. Uh, how, how does it compare to the other teams? Yeah, I think uh, especially the O-line, we're, we're very experienced compared to years past. Um, but what I noticed with, about this team is just, like, we just love being out there with each other. I mean, this was, like, the most energetic, fun fall camp I've ever been a part of. Usually it's kind of a – it's a grind, and which it was, it was a grind again this year, but we were just having fun out there with each other. We're battling. I mean, we're super competitive. And so we're always just trying to make each other better, and I think that's the biggest difference um, I've noticed from this team. And just as a follow-up, you probably heard Navy's coach said they weren't prepared. They didn't do live stuff. Did, did you notice that on the field? Is that something where you kind of look across the line and go, wow, this guy's not ready? I mean, uh, like, like Kalani was saying, that game's in the past. Uh, we know that after watching Army today, we know that Army is going to be very prepared for us. And so we have a huge uh, – battle ahead of us and so we got to prepare every day for uh, that game in uh, nine or ten days. <laughs> Brady I wanted to ask you in terms of what you guys did Monday night now looking forward what do you guys need to do to replicate that type of output that type of effort game in and game out? Yeah I, I think we uh, need to do better than just replicate it. I think we need, there's a lot of improvement we can, we can do. Um, we're not, we're not satisfied with uh, that performance where we want to get better technical. There's a lot of things across the board that we can do better uh, technical wise and just, uh, just get better every day, get stronger, get faster. Kalani said it today. We're not a team that digress through this, through the season We're we're getting bigger and faster every day. And that's the goal for the old line as well. I wanted to ask you about your running mate on the left side, Clark. He, it seemed like the two blocks he had on those two touchdown runs early in the game really set the tone. What have you seen from him as he prepared for the season that kind of, I guess, pushed him to the forefront? Yeah, Clark, is uh, he's been a stud since he's gotten here. Um, but then this offseason, too, he was, a, he was a workhorse. He was with us every day, getting extra work, getting bigger, faster, stronger, working on technique. And that guy's just – he's nasty out in the field. And I think that's what's something we really needed as an O-line unit is just that nastiness. And he's really sparked it in all of us. And so he's been great for the O-line. Okay, we'll take a question from Darnell and then Mitch. Brady, how much input do you feel like you have as a player in the game plan and making adjustments? And is it more – maybe this year because of the experience than you guys have had in the past? Yeah, I think uh, it's huge across the board on offense and defense. Uh, the coaches are always asking us what what we think is going to work, what we should run. Um, they always involve us in the decision-making process, and we're always asking questions about what about this, what about that. And that, that just comes with knowledge of the game and experience, and so I feel like it's uh, been awesome to be able to um, work with the coaches and kind of put in our input too. Okay, Mitch. Yeah, Brady, since Matt went down with an injury, who have become some of the guy, the voices that have been holding that, that leadership role that Matt held on the offensive side? Yeah, I mean, uh, we voted in eight captains for a reason. I, I saw the Niners had seven captains, and so it's really a joint effort with all of us. It's not like one dominant guy out there always uh, commanding the team, but it's just all of us chipping in, leading, and even some of the guys that aren't captains too, they're uh, a bunch of – everyone's just chipping in and leading, and that's what a, a great thing about this team is there's just a bunch of great leaders. This is a follow-up to um, Army. What is different about them schematically – maybe physically compared to what you saw with the Navy? Because it tends to seem like with military academies, there's a lot of similarities. What maybe separates Army from Navy? Yeah, from uh, watching film, I've noticed they're a very well-coached team, a very well-coached defense. They play hard. They're going to run to the ball. They're going to play really physical. Um, they play a lot of odd front, um, a little more base than Navy. Um, but they, they're a great defense, and we've got to bring our A game and be our most physical. Okay, Brady, thank you. Awesome, thank you.